Hello good people, we have another exciting tutorial for you today, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to get the leopard intro on your phone as your wallpaper. Uh, the phone I'm using is the Sprint LG Rumor. Uh, I would assume that this would work with other phones, you know, Verizon phones, AT&T phones, uh, because it is just a file formatting, really, but if it doesn't work, I guess leave a comment below letting me know it doesn't work. And if you're watching this video, check the comments below to see if it works for your phone. That way, it's not like you're wasting your time watching the video, only to find out that it doesn't work. But anyway, let's begin. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys very quickly that right now, I do not have the Leopard intro as my phone. It's actually a picture of the Apple TV that I took when I went to the Apple Store a couple days ago. But we're going to go over to my computer right now, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, so we are going to need the leopard intro, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You guys can just watch as I talk, So, because I actually have a couple things to let you guys know. Uh, the first thing is that you're going to need to set up Bluetooth with your device. If you do not have the proper USB cable or whatever cable it uses to connect to your computer, if you don't have that, you're going to need Bluetooth. Uh, there should be plenty of videos on it, just search setting up Bluetooth with uh, phone on Mac. Um, I'll find a video, if I, a good enough one, and put it in the description if I can. And right there, that's what we need, Setup Assistant. Show Package Contents. Contents. And another thing, guys, uh, I'm going to be using iMovie 09 for this, but it does work with iMovie 08 and iMovie HD. I've tested it. So then we're just going to scroll down till we find something along the lines of transition section, I believe. Transition section, transitions, yeah, transition section dot bundle. Show package contents, contents, should be in resources, I believe. And there it is, intro movie right there, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, you guys can incorporate the sound if you want. I'm not going to because, quite frankly, I don't want my phone playing the leopard intro while I'm at school. So, in iMovie, just file, new event. You guys, I just want to drag this over to the event. You guys can't import because I don't think iMovie 09 has that really cool search feature where you can go browsing through all the files. So we're just going to drag and drop. There we go. So now I'm just going to select all of that. Drag that right there. Oh. Create. So I guess my computer's going a little slow. Get that spinny beach ball thing. Speaking of beach ball, it's almost summer. I actually get out June 26th, which is actually kind of late. Kind of miss half my summer. Anyway, there we go. So now we want to go to Share. We want to go to Export using QuickTime Format. We want to go to Movie to 3G. We want to go to Options. And the one that we want, we want the 3G PP2. That's the one that we want. Uh, video Format. MPEG-4, data rate 64, image size 167 by 144. We want the frame rate to be 15, keyframe everything, 24 frames. Basically, just the default that it sets it to. So you're going to click OK. Uh, we want this to go to the desktop. We're going to click Save. And we're going to wait to that export. And while that does, I'm going to set up my camera again so I can show you the whole Bluetooth thing happening in action. Alright, so it is done. So I'm just going to exit out of iMovie. Oops, gotta turn on the camera guys. Alright, cool, now I'm recording on the Ultra HD. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the little Bluetooth icon right there at the top. And you want to go to Browse Device. The device you want, Matt LG Rumor, that's the name of my phone. I want to click Browse. It should be connecting to the device. And as you can see on my phone, uh, you guys might not be able to read that, but it says Accept Data Transfer from Matt Fisher's Computer. I'm just going to click Accept. Leave that right there. And now all I'm going to do is just drag this new project.3g2 right into there. I'm going to drag that in. As you can see, it is transferring the file. 
Just gonna wait a couple seven seconds. Should be done by then. It says transfer has completed. So now we want to go into pictures. This is actually some, a picture format that I sent it to my phone. Is I'm not sure how your phone will read it, but mine reads it as a picture. I assume yours would too. We're gonna go to my albums. We're gonna go to in phone. The first one right there should be the leopard intro. It is. So I'm going to go to options. I'm going to go to assign. Set a screensaver. Have to wait. Set it. All right. Now if I hit the end button. As you can see right there, there is the leopard intro. That was quick, dirty, and easy. Not that much to it. Guys, remember to follow me on Twitter for exclusive content. Uh, anytime I find a cool site or a cool application that I'm not going to make a video on, I will put it on Twitter, so definitely follow me on there. As well, check out my site, guys, macosxtutorials.com. I did a whole redesign from the last time I re-released it, using an application that you guys will find out soon, because I have to do a review on that. And that's pretty much it. If you guys need to email me, I have a new email, matt at macosxtutorials.com. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, afternoon, mid-afternoon, midnight, way early in the morning, whenever you guys are watching this video, and take care.